Hey guys, so welcome to my seven week bump date. So there's not going to be very much to this video because really not much has changed, but I figured I'd do a week bump date anyway. Um, baby is bigger. They say that since the time that this baby was conceived up till now, um, the baby has grown by over like 10,000 times or something compared to what it was. So it's getting bigger. Um, baby is the size of a, like, a micro snail, I think, or, um, a dice, like, a dice on a board game. So, I like the dice because I know how big that is, and I can, like, picture it. <laughs> so, yeah, big as a dice. Um, I'm still feeling super nauseous. Um, I've been taking B6 vitamin every day, um, and I hope that starts to kick in. Um, I've been taking uh, Pepto, I've been taking some like natural Dramamine that has like some ginger in it. So I'm just trying to do anything um, to help. It still does seem to be worse at night and early in the morning, um, but it's just kicking my butt. I still have not puked yet. I don't expect to because I didn't with my last pregnancy, but the nausea is just so bad and it just makes it so debilitating. Like I just don't want to do anything. It makes it hard to take care of Grayson because I'm so tired and just not feeling well and it's just hard. But what can you do? <laughs> this week we told more people about our pregnancy. Um, Anthony and I went on a, um, Anthony and I went on a double date with two of our close friends. Um, Anthony and the guy work together at Honda and so we get together every so often. They are pregnant. Uh, currently, they're due in May with a boy, and so we just told them that we are pregnant and due in September. So they're super excited for us, um, and we were happy that we were able to tell them um, in a few days. I'm going to tell all of my siblings, which is super exciting. Um, hopefully I can, like, take a video, but it's so hard to take a video of people, like, when you're trying to surprise people because once they see the camera, like, they're going to know that something is up. So I might just have to film, like, me retelling, like, how it was. But yeah, we're going to put Gray in a shirt. This is promoted to Big Brother. It's on, um, I got the shirt on Etsy. And, uh, hopefully they'll see it and get excited. So, I'm excited for all of them to know. We still don't have plans to tell Anthony's parents yet. We gotta figure that out. I'm still pretty thirsty, but it's hard because it's like I'm thirsty, but... If I, with the nausea, it's like I almost don't even want to drink anything either because just like anything that's extra in my stomach, like I'm either feeling super nauseous or if I eat then I'm feeling like super full, like I've overeaten and then like anything else that I add to my stomach like feels worse. I keep saying it feels like I've had like gastric bypass surgery and um my stomach is like the size of a quarter or something and so anytime I eat anything I feel I immediately feel like super full like I can't even eat anymore I don't remember that happening in my last pregnancy but maybe it did um, but yeah super weird feeling it's like I can't get relief I'm either super nauseous on an empty stomach or I eat and then I'm feeling like uncomfortably full I still have acne all over my face. Every time I think like, oh, I just have a batch and then I'll just put some lotion on it and stuff and make it, you know, better, then it's like the next day I wake up and there's a ton of new acne and pimples all over my face. So that's been a bummer to deal with. I've started to get like a cold, I think. Like I have this, like, I constantly have a stuffy nose and a runny nose, like have a lot of like snot in my nose. And so I'm not sure if I got Grayson's cold that he had a little bit ago or if this is like pregnancy cold because I have heard that you can get a cold while you're pregnant and then it just kind of like stays with you until like two weeks after giving birth. So I hope that doesn't happen, but if it does, like there's nothing I can do about it. So we'll see. I'm definitely like feeling bigger. I know it's not baby, but I'm definitely like feeling bloated, which makes me feel like super fat. <laughs> I keep telling you that like, I feel so big, <laughs> and I'm like, I'm not even that far along, I'm only seven weeks, but it's so 
hard and they always say in your second pregnancy you show a lot sooner than your first so I'm just kind of wondering like when that's gonna happen for me I need to go and get maternity clothes because all of my maternity clothes are winter clothes that I had for Grayson and this time I'm gonna need more summer clothes as it gets warmer because this baby won't be due until September so I'm gonna have to go through all of summer with this baby tomorrow is Anthony and I's um, well my first doctor's appointment I will be seven weeks and six days I'll be like a day shy of eight weeks so we're gonna go and hopefully get um, an ultrasound so we can like get a true due date. Right now online my due date says uh, September 9th but I have a feeling it's going to change once they do the ultrasound. So I'll keep you guys updated in my next vlog day on how that goes. Um, Anthony is going to take a half day so he can come with me. My mom's going to babysit Grayson so we don't have to take him with us. So that's going to be really nice and I'm excited to just like get the ball rolling and make sure everything is okay. I'm not excited to pee in a cup once a month again <laughs> and I'm not excited you know for you know the transvaginal ultrasound and all that but if that means I can see the little baby on the ultrasound then that's all right with me. I'm still thinking this is a girl especially with the really hard nausea and the acne um, but who knows it could be either or. I really want to find out the gender like now like I feel like last time I was okay with waiting like we didn't find out we didn't have our gender reveal until like 21 weeks and 22 weeks and this time I'm like what seven weeks almost eight weeks and I want to know like now I just want to know what the gender is so funny how it changes from pregnancy to pregnancy but yeah I really want to know I know there's blood tests that you can do and like you could get the gender that way but I think it costs a lot and I don't think our insurance will like cover it because it didn't last time and it was super expensive and so we didn't do it but I don't know, I'll have to see at the doctor's office what they say tomorrow. I'm excited Anthony's going to come with me, just because this is probably like the only appointment he's going to be able to come to, and so I just want him to like be there for at least one of them, just to know like this is really happening, and there is a baby in there, and just to be there for me, just in case anything goes wrong. I'm 99% sure that everything is going to be fine, because I'm so nauseous, and there's no way I would be this nauseous if... It wasn't like a good pregnancy so I'm not really too nervous about it um, my nipples TMI but my nipples on my boobs have been so tender lately um, at night I don't wear a bra to bed I just put a shirt on and the shirt rubbing up against like my boobs oh my god I'm like so sensitive to it and it's funny I don't remember being that sensitive last pregnancy but wow this one if I wasn't like nauseous then I would definitely know that I'm pregnant because of how tender my boobs are <laughs> I have I keep telling Grayson that there's a baby he knows now I'll ask him I'll say Grayson where's the baby and he will point to my tummy and say baby so he knows what to do when I cue him but I don't think he understands what it means like he doesn't understand there's gonna be another baby brother or sister but at least he's he knows something with it I guess I don't know it's really cute to see it though Anthony is super excited about this pregnancy I think he's a little more like okay with it this time just because he knows what to expect and so he's a little more like experienced this time and that's same with me like I know what to expect I know what's coming granted no two pregnancies are the same and complications can come but for the most part like we've been through this before and we know it's gonna come yeah I think that's it like I said there's like really not much new this week and I remember that last my last pregnancy in the beginning the week to week to week a lot of it was the same thing the same symptoms and it wasn't until like I got further along that the weeks would really differentiate between themselves but definitely subscribe to my channel and stay tuned because I will have my next video which will be um, us at our first ultrasound appointment and first doctor's appointment and I can give you guys like a true due date and a picture hopefully of the little nugget, <laughs> I want to say little guy, little girl, but I don't know the gender um, and so you're not going to want to miss it, you're going to want to see that. So. 
definitely stay tuned on this channel and uh, give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!